Uh, actually, you know, bef I'll s actually, I just want to say a quick, um, obviously today is a, in the overall scheme of things, a really sad day for Maryland basketball. Um, I want to give the condolences to Lefty's family. Um, obviously, Lefty was a huge part of Maryland basketball, but he was also a, a really big part of college basketball. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's tough when you lose a legend, um, especially at your school, but I think college basketball today um, really lost somebody that gave a lot to the game of basketball. So um, I just want to let Lefty's family know that, you know, we said a prayer for him uh, before the game, and uh, we're thinking about him, and that's all I got. Yeah, you, you mentioned Lefty, obviously. How much was that on your mind, you know, throughout – the day and kind of leading up to well, the game I, and players. I, well. I think John texted me this morning pretty early. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, I only really got to talk to Lefty about four or five times, you know, because um, he was doing good but not great. Um, and every time I talked to him, it was kind of the same conversation. So I kind of enjoyed the conversation because he had so much love for Maryland. He talked about Maryland. But more than anything, you know, he would always ask me about my family and we'd talk about his kids. Um, and so I think I enjoyed, because I think he told me his record quite a few times, but I always enjoyed more um, the fact that our, the conversation would get to Chuck or his kids and um, or my kids. And so, you know, it, it was on our mind, but, you know, obviously once the game starts, you got you got to go. To this game, um, defensively used to holding teams to a lot fewer than what Illinois did. Just what were your impressions of? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, you know, that that's sometimes, you know, when you're a big preparation team and you're young, um, you know, I, I just told the team, you know, Thursday was really, you know, we didn't do much Thursday because we had such a late game on, on Wednesday. And, and yesterday was, you know, because we, you know, we found out we weren't going to have Jordan, no Noah, and obviously chances hurt and Braden's red shirting. So we were kind of down and Dante got hurt before the game. Um, we didn't really practice that much yesterday, so I think, you know, those are what I told the team is sometimes you got to be a little bit more mentally sharp this time of year in conference play. Uh, and I thought, you know, yesterday and even Thursday, we were, we were just not as sharp as had we been, and just because of just being tired in the late game. But I was proud of their effort. I mean, we, ha we had our chances. Um, you know, you give up 36 free throws, you're going to lose a game. Brad was saying how he thought that Terrence did a Pretty good job on Jameer down the stretch. What did you see from, I from that matchup? Actually, I'll be honest with you. I, I think Jameer got fouled about 12 times and didn't get a call. So if I think if we're calling fouls down one end, it's got to be the same way. So, I, yeah, he did a good job. But, you know, you got to call it the same way. Uh, Shannon finishes with uh, 27 points. What was the approach this evening? What was he able to take advantage of? It, we, you know, again, like we didn't play against him the first time. Uh, we played against them last last year. I think you know for the for the young guys and and even all the new guys. There's only two guys that really played against them last year. Um, the big thing was trying to get back and form a wall on him in transition because that's really where he, where he does all his damage, um, and that's where, that's where he did his damage mostly. I mean, he made a couple nice moves. And, you know, he's he's a pro. He's going to make some good moves and score in the first half. But for the most part, he did most of his damage in transition. Dante Scott, 15 of his 17 in the second half. What do you, you feel he was able to take? Yeah, we, we had a kind of a freak accident, accident before the game. He slipped in, he slipped in the tunnel coming out uh, for warm-ups. That's why he didn't start and kind of took him a while to get going. It was just a freak accident. He slipped on a puddle in the tunnel. And, um, you know, I think it took him a little time to get going because I think he had a little shock, the fact that he wiped out in the tunnel. So we had to go through. We had to have the doctor clear him. We had that doctor do everything. And then, you know, you got to make sure he's okay. Um, and you got to make sure that he, he's able to play. And um, they tested him back here. But I think when he got in, if you watch, he's, he just was a little bit hesitant. He gave up two threes. Um, but once he got going, you know, he was the Dante that's been really Dante over the last two months. He's been really good. Is that it? Awesome. Yeah.